Hey family, on November 20th through December 1st, 2022, we will have the all-inclusive Kenya trip. Now, a lot of times people have said, hey, Phil, when's the next trip we will like to go? I want to see Africa for myself, but this is the time to go. Everything will be taken care of. All the excursions are paid. You can do monthly payments. You know, they'll have a safari and a six city tour. You will see Charlie Island, which is something that we did not see last time on the tour. This tour will be 12 days instead of seven days. So make sure to secure your place on the trip by going to www.wbsvs.com, make your deposit, and then you can start making your payments and we'll see you in Kenya. So you have a worker at Dillard's end up being a straight up white supremacist. Well, you had a little black child that he ended up calling the N word and the dad found out about it. And the dad went to address this worker. Let's go ahead and roll that. Dillard's for many years, I carry myself with honor. I would never disrespect any human being by calling them outside of their name. That of what you did. You don't know the impact of what you've done to my son. But maybe you were unaware. Even if you were. Know, it, it, it doesn't matter about you noticing me. You shouldn't be speaking that way, period. So if you know that, then why do that, man? All I heard, I thought you might have hurt my leg. You, you hurt your leg and you said, fuck it. No, but I didn't know that. I thought that was all that until I said, you know, I'm fucking dying or something like that because I hurt my, because I my leg cramped up. Oh, I didn't even know you were. Listen to what I'm saying. I am. How long have you worked here? Over 20 years. Over 20 years and you're acting that way. You don't know, you don't, you don't know what straw could break the camel's back. You don't know. I'm but you disrespected myself, you disrespected my family. But I would never do your children or your family or even you or no human being that way. I would never treat anybody that way. But I want you to know man to man, that shit's not going cool. And you don't know what young man, I have grace and honor, and I was raised with morals and values, but I lost a lot. I lost my mother, I lost my mother-in-law, I lost my sister all last year. You don't know what mental state the next human being could be in. And it wouldn't be a cop. It wouldn't be a, a security guard. It wouldn't be nobody that could stop me from getting on your ass if I wanted to. You understand me? So I want you to know that. Think about that. It doesn't matter about the age. You treat human beings with respect and morals and values. You understand that? Now I have to go home and correct my 10 year old not to be a damn idiot. Don't act a fool, don't be like Homer. Homer don't have respect for my kind or any human being. This ain't a black and white issue. This is an idiot issue and I want it to be addressed. So I told your supervisor, we have you, we have everybody heard you say it. So I want the whole store to know you was dead wrong. And I just bought this stuff at dealers with Homer working here. I wouldn't treat anybody like that, man, and you're dead wrong. So may God bless you, and you keep moving forward, and I'll pray for you, Homer. Thank you. Peace and blessings. Now, I really like how this brother addressed the issue. He was, you know, definitely stern. He was calm. He was collected. And he got his message across very, very well. Because, see, some people would flip out, make a scene, yell, and all that. You don't have to do all that. That man walked in pure masculinity in how he handled that situation. He let him know that he lost some family members. And you don't know what kind of mental state he could have been in at the time to snap off on him. He was a pretty big guy. And then too many people probably would have done to get him off of him. Or at least by the time they got there, at least. He probably had him folded up, you know, like paper by that time. But you have these white supremacists, they're just straight cowards. They love to pick on children. They love to pick on women. They, they believe in soft targets. Now that man said he'd been working there 20 years. This video that went viral and this guy here basically gonna get fired. I mean, because the company don't want to put up with nobody doing things like that. I mean, they about making their money. They can care less. You know how they feel about it in corporations. Look, we, yeah, we all say it, but we say it behind closed doors. You don't supposed to be saying that uh, out loud or we can get sued. 
We don't want that, that name on our company that we are harboring anti-black racists. Oh no, you got to go. So I know they're going to let that dude go because they, they got him dead to rights. But I told y'all these people here, you know, that when they just have this, you know, anti-black racism in them, they will mess off their whole job. Now this man been here, been there 20 years. Why are you going to mess off that job? I'm pretty sure you got some sort of, um, retirement or something in there that you could, you know, retire and go on with your life. You've been in that long. Why would you mess all that up behind your mouth? There's been many of them messed off their whole businesses and everything. Cause they just got to call black people that name. They, they're so obsessive with that freaking word obsessive. And of course you're going to have one show. Well, we say the word. So it's not the same and you know it. Do I like it? No, that's why I don't use that word on this platform whatsoever. I don't allow nobody to even come in here and use that word. Uh -huh, I feel too many of our people died in, in, in hearing that word. Why do I need to be saying that or whatever? But we know good and well when people like this guy say it, he, he's saying it in the guise of hate. He's saying it in the guise of what it, it, it truly means. Not how black folks say it. It's two totally different things. Even though I don't agree with black folks saying it. Cause you know how they'll try to do Well, y'all say it. It doesn't justify anything. What happened with this situation? Well, shout out to the brother. And, 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 that, and that's the thing when you have, you know, fathers in the household, that's what, that's what they don't want. They don't want that. They want to see these children with a single mother and not having a, a brother, a father in the household protecting his children. Because women, sometimes they just get, you know, amped up, want to do something or whatever, and they get the upper hand that way. But that brother's cool, calm, and collect, and I like that. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved AfricanDiasporaNews.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on AfricanDiasporaNews.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.